So this is sort of a, I guess, a, in a sense, a review of last time, but it's sort of, sort of a deepening of what we talked about last time. Okay? So I'm going to go back into where we left off, which was this issue of precision or prescinding. And it's, it's a little strange because he's got this word prescinding, and he spells it in different ways. So I'm, I'm just, I don't know. I, so I've spelled it here with the, with the SC, and sometimes he spells it with just the C. And I've, I've, I guess I've done it both ways as well. But in any case, it's, it's the same concept, right? And you recall, the key about prescinding is that it's a kind of a middle kind of term of separating between two things. So discrimination, you separate between two things by drawing a distinction in the meaning of the two terms. Dissociation, on the other side, are two things that are s separated in which you, you, you're saying that uh, you can have a consciousness of one thing without the necessary consciousness of the other thing, and that's, that's another kind of thing that we can separate. And then the, the precision, or what he calls also abstraction, is to pay attention to one thing while neglecting the other thing, right? So it's, it's, it's a little tricky, and we're going to go through an example to sort of try and illuminate this idea. And this was the chart from last time, you recall, where what's important is this sort of middle part where you can prescind space from color and you cannot prescind color from space. And one, one of the ways to think about that, I spoke to, uh, to I guess Katie last time, and she said, one of the ways we can think about it was that you can imagine doing geometry with different shapes. And you can, so you're, you're looking at spaces, but you're ignoring the color. It doesn't matter what color the triangle is or the square is that you're doing, or the circle is that you're working with in geometry. You can, you can prescind space from color. You're just looking at the spaces involved, and you're ignoring the colors. On the other hand, if you're looking at colors, if you're looking at a color palette or something like that, or you're, you're trying to choose a color for your painting, you can't ignore the space. The color is sitting in at some kind of a space, so the space is already given with the color, right? You can't imagine color without space, right? Even though you can imagine space while neglecting the aspect uh, of color. Even though you can't dissociate the two. So, so there's a difference between dissociation and uh, precision in the sense that you can you can look at the space, you can ignore color for the moment, but you still know, you still have a consciousness that every space has a color. Even if it's a colorless space, that is essentially a color, right? So that with the consciousness of space all comes a consciousness of, of color. You, you can't dissociate those two from each other, even though you can ignore for a moment the aspect of color when you're focusing on space. Okay? So that's the, the key concept of precision. And let's, let's take a look at this color and space example a little bit more closely. So what he's indicating now is that color is a more immediate conception than space, which is to say it's closer to the impressions than space is. And that's why you can prescind space from color. Because space reduces color to a unity. That is, space is a conception that we can find in all color. And so if you can find space in all color, then that's a conception that unifies all color within space. Right? And he talks about how there's, a different, there's different conceptions that would not be able to create that unity of all color. Right? So he, he, let's give it, an example is red. So there's a, we can have a conception of red. It's not found in all color, right? And so it's actually sort of an arbitrary addition to the concept of color. And so red doesn't reduce color to unity, right? You can't, you can't say that all color is red, obviously, right? But you can say that all color exists in space, right? And so that's the difference between a conception that reduces color to unity and another conception, red, that doesn't reduce color to unity. Right? So, on the other hand, there's also some conceptions, such as size, where you can comprehend color without thinking about the size. Right? So, you can, you can imagine the color red, 
but it doesn't really matter about the size of that red blotch that you're looking at, right? And so size doesn't reduce color to unity either, right? Because you can comprehend color without that conception, right? So, th so there's, there's two things he's looking at here. He's trying to look at different conceptions and seeing which conceptions are somehow logically necessary for the other conceptions to exist. Right? And so in a sense, he's saying that space is one that's, that's in a sense, because you can prescind space from color, space is a conception that unifies color. It's closer, so, uh, so color is closer to the impressions, space is closer to the universal, right? which is being. Right? Okay. So once that we've determined that space reduces color to unity, we, then we can imagine space without managing color, because color we now know is a more immediate conception, it's closer to the impressions, right? And so, and it's also a sort of an explaining conception that you can, once, you, once you've determined that space is a unifying conception that unifies all color, you can, you can start, you, can, you, you realize that you can look at space and ignore color. Right? So that's part of the unifying function of space, is that it allows you then to look at space and ignore color. And so, so that's why he's saying, so, so what, what, he's, what he's working out is that there's a method that you can use in order to determine which conceptions are more elementary to the other conceptions, right? Because you can tell, because you can use this test of precision, right? If you can, if you can, focus on one concept while ignoring the other concept, then the one that you can focus on is more elementary, right? If you, do, if you try it the other way around, you try and focus on uh, color and ignore space, you can't do it, and you realize that, okay, then color is really dependent on, on space as a conception, right? So space is the one that's, that's more, uh, that's closer to being, is what he's saying, and, and farther away from the impressions, right?